so today is actually going to be part two of the video i made yesterday which was called does god hate me and i discussed um a period in my life where i felt cursed and um, i suffered with depression probably for 13 years and so i was talking about that and i wanted to go into some actual real like communication tools that you can use it, um, if you're someone who is maybe has a depressed child or friend or you might be living with someone that might be depressed and so I am going to discuss very practical tactics on how you can just communicate a little more effectively show a little more compassion to the person who is suffering um, I'm also going to discuss this series that I came across that is one of the most amazing, as far as entertainment is concerned, I have yet to see anything this impactful and this entertaining while being content that could potentially heal someone from their depression or their bipolar or their anxiety or, what, or whatever psychological illness they may be, may be dealing with. They were going really deep into the mental illness and what the day-to-day -day life and what life actually is like for someone. This was like one of the most authentic, um, I would say authentic, you know, ways of showcasing in a format of a show. Um, I thought that they did an amazing job and you should definitely check it out. I mean, I literally could not stop watching it. It was gripping. It was oh, one of the best series I've seen in a long time. So um, I'm definitely going to leave a lot of information in, in the description box below. So please check that. It's the purpose and why I'm even uploading this video is for you to get the information that's below. So... One of the first things I wanted to get into is shame and I want to really dig into it because it's actually I personally feel is one of the major major factors in an individual actually getting through and over something this deep when you're in a depression that is literally where you can't move um, and the show that I just watched is actually called Giants. Um, you know, one of the characters just could not get out of bed and go to work. Um, and that's one of the, you know, that's when the depression is really severe. And she couldn't get out of bed. She couldn't go to work. And so she ended up losing her job. Um, clearly, you have to pay rent. And she ended up, you know, sleeping on a couch. But I don't want to ruin the show. Um but back to shame you know carrying shame for an individual to lose their job because they were just their depression just literally took over their whole life a lot of the times you you'll hear people say stuff like oh you know you're faking or just work through it and that's that's just really not possible um, it definitely wasn't possible for me when I was going through um, these kinds of things and still do occasionally. So um, I find that being compassionate and having an understanding that this person is not being lazy, like nobody's that lazy. You know, everybody wants to get up and go to work and fend for themselves and you know be responsible nobody wants to lay in the bed all day long and be depressed and crying and all these things no nobody wants that for their life and so being compassionate to that i find you know without the compassion it's almost like adding another layer to your illness and i'll explain you know, not having a safe space to work through your depression and work through these things. A safe space meaning somewhere to freaking stay. You know, a lot of people end up in shelters. 
because of this or homeless. If, if you can't work and you're not getting disability or any kinds of state help, you will be homeless. And so in understanding that it's, it makes you even view homelessness differently and why people are homeless or how do people even get this low? You know what I'm saying? How do people even? And so when I was watching the show, they really started to chronicle like exactly how a person can go from being highly functional to literally not being able to get out of the bed, not being able to go to work, not being able to do much of anything. And so, um, watching watching this show today definitely brought up that for me and i wanted to share that as one of the major keys that when i was going through you know a dark time it was it was really really helpful to me to have people around me who understood and was giving me the compassion and the understanding and you know that was within my immediate family but of course there's always an external or other people and their judgments about your life and why you can't keep it together or like why you aren't farther in life. All these things add such another ton of burden on the person that it's almost like, it's almost too much. And I um, this is why so many people get driven to suicide. And this is why I'm bringing up the shame part. Because I feel like it's such a huge portion. And if like people can just understand for a second that your judgment and you telling the person that they're making it up or that they're not depressed or that they're lazy or scathing them, you know, about not being able to keep a job. Like this is... This does not help anybody. And I really want to drill that home because when a person loses their job because of a mental illness, something that's invisible, something that people can very easily dismiss. And so it's for individuals who are not suffering like this, for them to have an understanding that all this person needs is for you to not judge them because they're already judging themselves. Like with all of the support that I was receiving from my parents, my mom has passed already, but the support, you know, like they never made me feel like a burden. And so even with that, I had still had my own burden of feeling like, dang, you know, I wish I could help. I wish I wasn't, you know, so messed up or like, I wish I didn't have, like, I just wish I wasn't going through this. And I just feel like if, even with all of the support I have from my parents, I still had this heavy burden of, feeling like I was an absolute worthless piece of shit of a human being. Like, that's just nobody, okay, wants to go through this. And it just, it turns into a downward spiral. And without the compassion and non-judgment from others, you know, a person could, could heal a lot faster. And so that's my message for the for really today is to let the person know that they are valuable and that they're not worthless. Because honestly, that was the biggest pain that I can't remember any other pain than the pain of the stigma and the having to lie about how my life was going and about like what I was doing and like, you know, that shit that kind of a like that's what makes people feel alone you know what i'm saying if if i feel like i'm being judged already like i'm a piece of shit or like you know how am i supposed to live in this world not being able to have some kind of a consistency of income that's the basis 
if you can't have stability there, and, and then if you don't even know what your life purpose is, life can really feel like not worth living. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was in that mind state, there was no reason for me to be here. Th this is how I was feeling. And so it didn't matter what anybody was saying to me about anything about positive thinking or anything like I needed compassion. I needed to feel like I was still a valuable human being. Not made to feel like I'm some lazy person making up excuses or somebody that can't keep a job. Like all of that was such a huge pain for me to forgive and get over. And so it is like, this is why I can't go live yet really um discussing this topic because it's very deeply emotional for me because i know that people could feel a lot better and the depression wouldn't be so bad <sighs> my phone died and i'm losing light so sorry but um the depression wouldn't be so bad if compassion was there because see what happens is that the person loses their job so which means they lose their income which means they lose their freedom as an adult which means your whole shit, like your social life is in the toilet. You don't have money to go out anywhere to socialize. So now you're lonely. And so, you know, like when my psychiatrist used to ask me, are you lonely? I'm just sitting here like, what the, f what the fuck do you think, right? It was just like, I'm unemployed. I don't have any money like I'm home right so it's just being aware that this is the life of someone who is depressed okay and so having never making the person feel like a burden I feel like is the biggest thing and I'm I'm really just want to drill that in I don't want to make this video about anything else um it was just on my heart to to discuss this today and so hopefully um this resonated or pff, was helpful in some way uh, please let me know if it was someone asked me um in the comments yesterday about just some ways on how to communicate with people when they are at the bottom don't preach to them you know don't come to them with inspirational quotes or any kind of a religious thing even if they are religious like just don't do don't you cannot save the person you understand like this is their own journey and path to self-discovery you know god is in control of all of that you know you're just there as an aid of a support it doesn't mean to preach to them that was the last thing I wanted from anybody. Everybody was doing that to me. And it drove me. F I try not to curse, you know, curse so much in my videos. But like, it, it drove me crazy. All I needed was a hug or a phone call. Like, are you okay today? Do you need anything? That's basic. But instead, I would get everything else. Even from the psychiatrist sometimes, like even they have snarky ass remarks. It's like the communication, you know, ask yourself, am I trying to preach to this person? Like you're not in control of their mental health. Nobody's in control of nobody's mental health. And so just being there and showing compassion and let, that's all you have to do. They will get over, over it when, when it's time for them to get over it. It took me years to get to the place where I am right now. And so it's not for me now to go running around to everybody who's depressed and telling them and, and then doing what everybody else used to do to me. That's not how I get through to people. Anytime anybody say, oh, Nirvana, wow, like that was helpful or like I feel so much better now. It wasn't because it's not because I'm going to them and telling them what they need to do or start doing or exercise or like I'm not doing any of that. 
because that's not what the person needs in that state of mind. They need to be heard. Like, I just wanted to be heard and understood for a second without people trying to input, like, did you, you know, work out? I hear this. Like, none of that shit worked for me. Honestly, everything, exercising, all of that, like, the only thing that ever worked for me, like, back then when I was dealing with depression as a teen was getting a dog. Literally. The dog ripped me out and, like, really helped me deal with some depression. So, you know, but but I ended up having to get rid of the dog. And then, you know, like, dogs cost money. And so if you're a person who's depressed and unemployed, you can't... That's like picking up another child. That's like going to adopt a child, right? And so having a pet is a privilege. And so... So just give the person some compassion. And um, this video is long enough. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, please let me know in the comments if you feel like this information was a little bit helpful, even just a little bit. Um, and if you have any other questions, I'm, I'll be more than happy to um, elaborate further on anything. Like medications I was taking, all of that. Like we can discuss. Okay, so you all be very well and um, stay tuned for more. I'll be doing videos on mental health, primarily mental health, because that's the thing I care about the most. And so um, Q&As and things like that. This, this video is a little emotional for me to make. Um, and it's just because I, I deeply, I know people are suffering at an all time high. Actually, um, I just heard, I had some notes of, uh, um, the movie that I just saw. They, the movie giant, um, it's not a movie, it's a show, the show giants. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I'm just going to put everything in a description. Okay. Later y'all. <laughs>